Howdy everyone, it's me Grace, and welcome back. This is a really special video because this past weekend, I got married to my best friend. We were wed on my grandpa's cozy homestead in rural Nebraska. And of course, this year being what it is, we quarantined for two weeks before getting together. We also only had 10 people attending, so it made everything feel really magical and intimate. We had a hand fasting ceremony where our family got to be involved, and a local chef came over to use our outdoor fireplace to make a six course dinner using locally grown ingredients. My mom's pets really enjoyed the extra attention as well. I made my own flower crown veil for the wedding, and I'll be showing you how I made it today. First, I sketched my design so I could figure out what I wanted it to look like. I wanted a rose flower crown with a two-tiered veil. I also wanted to incorporate spiderweb lace and other little details to complement my dress. I'm starting with some floral wire and wrapping it in a circle shape that could rest comfortably on my head. I got some off-white faux roses and removed them from their stems carefully. I also had these fluffy little branches I decided to use as well. Using my Sherbonder hot glue gun, I attached the flowers one at a time. I was a little worried about using hot glue at first, but the industrial hot glue turned out to be stronger than I imagined. After the flowers and branches were attached, it's time to create the veil. I found this stretchy, see-through fabric at Joann's that was so silky soft, lightweight, and just right for this project. As for the length, I wanted the longest tier to reach below my waist. I used embroidery floss to gather the top edge of the veil to make it extra voluminous and fluffy. I made the top veil a little shorter and cut it into a U-shape and gathered the top the same way as the bottom veil. Before attaching the veils to the crown, I added this lacy spiderweb trim to the veils. I love this trim so much. I've been adding it to everything lately. From the lace straps, I carefully cut out some spider webs to use on my flower crown. I'll set these aside for now and attach my veils. Again, the industrial hot glue worked wonderfully for attaching the veils to the flower crown. It was durable and lightweight. I put the lace spider webs on some parchment paper and used UV resin to coat them. After the spider webs cured, they were sturdy and ready to attach to the crown. I wanted the spider webs to look like they caught some morning dew, so I used hot glue to add droplets. This was really comfortable, and I often forgot I was even wearing it. I hope you liked the video, and until next time, bye y'all.